Just got done playing on a Tuesday and I used my scorecard as like an EEG. I shot uh, one under on the front, even on the back, 71. Some of my thoughts that I came up with, I was listening to TED Talks while I was playing. They talked about Warren Buffett's three criteria for how he chooses uh, who to bet on. Um, he says he looks for adaptive intelligence, integrity, and energy. But I was more interested in this idea of who would you bet on? And the whole message is you, you better, if you're not going to bet on yourself, who's gonna? So how that relates to golf in my mind is when you're standing over a shot in the fairway, hit the shot that you would bet on your ability to pull off. Don't hit the shot that you think you need to hit. What do you know? What would you bet on yourself to hit in this situation? And if you hit a bunch of shots that you would put your own hard-earned money down on the line to say that I can hit that shot, if you string a bunch of those together, you're going to play very consistent, solid golf. So that was one of the thoughts. It goes to trust. Do you trust yourself? I kept asking myself that uh, on, on the last tee shot today. I said, do you trust yourself to carry that bunker? Okay, then why are you worried about that bunker? Go ahead and make the swing. And it was a good shot. Um, some ideas for the future. Why do we play bad when we're playing through? I think that's pretty obvious. Your priority is, is playing quickly, not playing well. Um, another thought, you want to pick up club head speed? Swing the club. More on that to come. Um, one of the recurring ideas that I had is the swing should be experienced, not guided or directed. A good swing is a side effect of good thinking. Another TED talk um, was more business related, so I'll uh, leave that for myself. But um, 71 today, pretty effortless. And uh, I said I used it as an EEG, so I compare every shot uh, my outcome relative to my intent. And um, if I hit something that's a fair representation of my intended shot, I put okay. If it's not a fair representation of something I would bet on myself to be able to do, I try to figure out why. And more often than not, I've, I've written some stuff down here. I was confused. Uh, a couple times I was lazy. It was cart path only, so I didn't want to go back and get another club. And um, I had a bad plan. Uh, it was something that I wouldn't have bet on myself to do, or it wasn't, I didn't get enough data to make a good plan. Um, sometimes it's just fuzzy. I just wasn't quite comfortable and I should have backed off the ball. Um, but I also had a bunch of wows today. Wow is like, that was exactly like what I was trying to do. I, I would bet on myself to do it and hell, I just did it. So that's fun. That's to me what I try to count. And those are usually birdies. So that, how many birdies did I have today? One, two, three, four, five birdies. And um, yeah, vague, vague plans are a consistent problem of mine. Um, I get distracted. I get thinking about other things and I'm not, um, oh, what's the word from that TED talk? Adequately engaged. I'm not adequately engaged in my process of, of hitting golf shots that I would bet on my ability to hit. Um, okay, home to Lucky.